economy to health matters. 100 patients of vesicle vag vagina fistula have been, that's VVF, have been lined up for free repair surgery on the Spotlight Initiative project in collaboration with the Fistula Foundation Nigeria in Sokoto. And speaking at the inauguration of the exercise, Spotlight Desk Officer of United Nations Population Fund, UNFPA, Umaru Idris, disclosed that the Spotlight program was aimed at eliminating violence against women and girls in the society. We have details in this report. Obstetric fistulas remain a major source of public health concern and one of the most devastating maternal mobilities afflicting over 3 million women, mostly in developing countries. <laughs> <laughs> Nigeria's annual estimate for pregnancy-related death is put at 40,000, accounting for over 14 percent of global maternal mortality, placing the country among the top 10 most dangerous countries in the world for a woman to give birth. Over 2 million women are estimated to be living with unrepaired vesicular vagina fistula, and half of this figure in developing countries are in Nigeria. The prevalence rate of obstetric fistula in Nigeria is put at 3.2 per 1,000 birds, and it is estimated that about 13,000 new cases occur annually, suggesting that the backlog of unrepaired cases may take about 83 years to clear at the present rate of repair. <laughs> One hundred patients of a Cisco Vagina Fistula VVF are lined up for free repair surgery on the Spotlight Initiative project. It is a 10-day exercise to be conducted between 2nd of June to 12th of June at the Fistula Treatment Center located at the Maria Mapacha Women and Children Hospital in South Quato. I've seen a lot of cases of fistula uh, patients who have lost their marriages who have lost their family, who, who have lost their, means, lost their means of livelihood due to fistula, uh, due to the stigma they come across within the society. Tell men to support their wife during pregnancy and childbirth. And after successful surgery, then there will be rehabilitation and reintegration of all these women back to their own respective communities. Speaking earlier, Sokoto State Commissioner for Health Ali Nami says VVF is mostly caused by some harmful traditional practices such as female genital mutilation, prolonged labor during childbirth, and rape of the minor. The stakeholders come into being and we treat those people and also rehabilitate them uh, physically by doing operation and also uh, mentally uh, doing psychotherapy as well as even empowerment so that when they are going back to their communities they can be able to take care of Spotlight project is targeted at reducing gender-based violence, harmful traditional practices, and other forms of violence against women and girls.